Hi everyone, welcome back to The Blacklist. In to my segment, what's she wearing? She's wearing a white t-shirt. Just kidding. I am wearing a white t-shirt by Coffee. So it's got this pretty butterfly on it with the lovely flowers. And I will tell you where I got it. I went to Prolly's restaurant on Frenchman Street in Gentilly. It's right in that little triangle where Gentilly Boulevard crosses with Elysian Fields. Um, and I stopped there to get some lunch and a lady was in there with a little table set up selling t-shirts. So I bought this t-shirt, but I saw a black woman selling her products in a black owned restaurant. And you know me, I have to support both black businesses. So this is what she's wearing. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite podcasts. I love learning, I love listening to new information. I'm not a huge fan of watching television and a lot of times I'm doing multiple things at one time. So podcasts are great for me because I can listen to them while I'm driving, cooking, washing dishes, reading even. I'm, I'm listening and reading at the same time or even when I'm in my garden, which is also something I really love to do. The first one is called Give Us Some Mo. Now, that Mo is M period, O period, and it stands for the two women who host the podcast, Michelle and Oye. Uh, Michelle is a good friend of mine from way back in high school. I won't tell you how long ago that is, but Michelle is an amazing woman. Uh, not only does she do this beautiful podcast with her peer, Oye, she is a pediatrician. She is also a realtor. I love this podcast because it makes me feel like I really get to talk to Michelle more often because we don't have time to just be on the phone like when we were teenagers. So I just don't get to talk to her that often. And I really enjoy listening to Oye as well. They share a lot of good information, not only about uh, being pediatricians, uh, but about their beliefs as Christian women, um, about relationships, about work, about mental health, raising children, all kinds of things. So I really, really love that podcast, and I think you will too. The next podcast that I really enjoy is called The Listening, and it's hosted by one individual. Her name is Ebony, and she's one of my coworkers. Ebony has a consulting company, and this podcast although she does sometimes talk about her business, um, is really more of a spiritual journey. And so she's just sharing some things that she is learning. On. It takes her time and just pours her heart out into it, but she shares a lot of good information. Um, she shares scriptures. She prays for people. And she just tells you what's going on in her life, and it's very encouraging. So that is the other podcast that I've really been enjoying lately. Here are a few others that I really enjoy. The first is Jamel Hill is Unbothered. She asks questions that you kind of want to know. She does this or that, so people have to make a either or decision and talking about some of their favorite things. And I love the question, when did you become unbothered? I'm still trying to figure that out because I am not quite yet unbothered. I aspire to be unbothered. So one day, if I'm ever on that show, maybe I'll have an answer of when I became unbothered. The next one is Small Doses by Amanda Seals. So if you know Amanda Seals, she's got a big Instagram following. She's a comedian, she's an actress, but she's also very highly educated and can really come through with some good information and the things that she's talking about have historical backing, statistical data. She brings it. The next one is therapy for black girls. Um, I am definitely an advocate of good health in general, but I really, uh, especially among black people, we know that we have a stigma against um, seeking out mental health services sometimes. And so I just really appreciate listening to this podcast. The next one is the Sister Circle podcast with Crystal Evans Hurst. This is definitely a podcast that's geared for a Christian woman. If you don't know who Crystal Evans Hurst is, her father is Tony Evans, who's um, a very well-known pastor. Her sister is Priscilla Shire. Um, and so the whole family is a Christian family that's basically um, the perspective from which this podcast is given. 
but it's also just a good podcast for women, um, and I enjoy it. I relate to it. I like it a lot. The next one is Jesus and Joloff. Now, I don't know if they're making any more of these. As far as I know, there are only two or three seasons, and I've listened to everything I could find from it. But it is uh, with Lovey Ajayi and Ivan Orji, and it is hilarious. First of all, when they switch back and forth from their American accents, one from Maryland and one from Texas, and then switch into the Nigerian accents that they learned growing up with their parents and their households, it's hilarious. They talk about all kinds of things. Um, it's just very entertaining and I like it a lot. Last but not least is The Table with Anthony O'Neill. Yes, I listen to a man on a podcast as well. So this podcast is all about, really about finances, about investing, building a business, spending money wisely, preparing yourself, investing in yourself, not just financially, but getting your education, um, taking good care of yourself. And it's really, I've only gotten to maybe four or five episodes, but I have really enjoyed all of them. So those are all of the podcasts that I'm enjoying right now that are made by Black creators. I really hope you check them out. I especially hope that you go listen to Give Us Some Mo and Painting the City Pink. All right, that's it for this time. Thank you for listening. And as usual, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things, and tell everybody about this here right now. So, thank you. Bye bye.